Okay, hi, namaste, namaste, namaste. I'm using Bella Butterflies um, Forever Bella, this mascara called Sky High, um, and it's called Lash Sensational. So let's see if it makes a difference. I have um, eyeliner on and eyeshadow. Um, no lipstick yet. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm going to be going for a walk at the park. But right now I'm over by the gas station. So let's see if this makes a difference. This is before, right? Sorry about the bags under my eyes, but that's a new thing I've been having ever since I turned 60. Okay. So I'm going to count because I always count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, I didn't do it reapply. I got to reapply. I count to 40 to see if there's a difference. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I'm going to do the bottom, and then I'll compare. We'll compare one eye to the other eye. not that big um, so far. I usually don't like to do more than 40 because I try to when I'm going to work, but now I'm not going to work. But um, I have like 8 minutes to put my makeup on for work. So I try to make it so that it's not so long. Oh yeah, I think it's working now. I think I just have to count. Okay, I'll show you the difference. Okay, so here's no mascara, just eyeliner that has probably cried off because I've been crying. <laughs> okay, are we sure Mercury retrograde is over? Because my body and mind think it's still Mercury retrograde. Okay, and here's the eye that's done. Not much of a difference, right? Let me do the other eye now, because I don't want to walk around with just one eye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know this is probably a boring video for you guys. Oh, look at my earrings, chickens, with yellow boots to go with my yellow sunflower. Okay. Thank you for Bella Butterfly. Thank you. I had to pull a gray, cut a gray hair, a white hair out of my eyebrow. And that's what happens when you get old. Well, that's been happening since age 32 or 33, I think. I don't get that much gray in my hair, but now that I could see a gray hair right here, you see that? And over here too. But I don't have that, for an old dude, I don't have that much gray. My father didn't either. And my mother used to get so mad because she went gray early. Because she said that your father has black, black hair. And then he would put VO5 in it to make it shiny, like Elvis. And um, she said the reason why he has the black hair is because he doesn't have a worry in the world. He leaves all the worries to me. That's what she said. And that's why she went gray early. That's what she said. I don't know if that's true, but... Well, yeah, she did have everything. Everything on her shoulders. I think I did this eye better than this eye. Maybe because I did the lower... Does it look a little bit like... I don't like the eyelash, the fake eyelashes where they look like... Like they're this long, like they look fake, fake. Like on my wedding day, they really wanted to put eyelashes on me. And I didn't want to do that because I'm not used to that. And I thought I would be looking at them, like from the side of my eye. So what I did was, um, I said, she goes, how about I put half on? I was like, oh, you could do that. So she did put a half 
so it was just like the side and then when I look at the pictures I was like I should have made her put the whole thing on um, I didn't like how she did my lips she did not do a good job on my lips I would have been better off doing my own uh, lips not not the whole makeup she did some good job but she really it looked like I had no lipstick on like right now during my wedding it was a little haze of orange and orange isn't my color red is my color okay red and or pink um or peach I think she was going for peach but anyway let's put a little on the old eyebrows because I have almost non-existent eyebrows and I totally don't know how to do it I just do it I just do it make a fool of myself and that's basically been my life maybe some people will laugh maybe people make fun of me behind my back I've been asked so many times in Texas not in never in New York that that would never be a, a statement but in Texas people say how how do you have time in the morning every day before school because I used to work a lot more than I do now how do you have time to put your makeup on to put all that makeup on they said all that makeup as if it was a lot I guess it's a lot to them because they hardly wear any makeup and they hardly ever dye their hair once their hair goes gray or white they usually don't put anything in it okay um so I said no it doesn't take me long at all um I enjoy it it, it takes me about I sometimes I had it down to maybe less than eight minutes because I didn't I was running late um but um I could put my makeup on you put your first I put my eye makeup on then my foundation then the blush and then the lipstick and I could do that probably in five minutes if I had a rush, but I like to have like eight minutes because I feel good. Now I'm just lining my lip because I have no lips. <laughs> and I should get, I know I lined it wrong. I know. <laughs> but this is a pretty color. It's just a beige. I'm totally doing it wrong and I definitely need a wax so hopefully if I'm not working uh, one day this week I'm gonna get Devin to take me to get my nails done I don't want this color anymore I'm over it and then I, I'm gonna get eyebrow and lip wax because the old mustache is coming in with a vengeance okay look at this color Isn't that pretty it's Revlon State State Ink. I buy a whole bunch of stuff and then I, I lose it. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of stuff from Bella Butterfly, so I know where that is. But I buy stuff at the store and it's expensive. Um, makeup it's, is expensive. Lipstick, like one lipstick used to be like under $10. Now it's like $20. Anyhow. I buy it and I lose it can't find it so I have to buy it again oh I like this for fall yeah if you do your lips wrong you could end up looking like a clown and I think I look like a clown but who cares who's seeing me rub that in a little bit yeah, I see the the big gray hair. Big, it's not even gray. It's white right here. But I earned it. Okay. <laughs> um, I might, uh, when I go to the park, I brought my cards with me. Okay. But first, I got to move this ass. I got to move my ass. And then if I, um, if it's too hot outside, I'll just come in my car. I'll try to find a tree. Right here is really nice. I've been sitting here way too long, but nobody's calling the cops on me because I'm at the gas station. Um, anyhow, I like this color. Do you like this color? I think it's a matte. You call it a matte? 
I don't know. Anyway, I like the, um, the mascara that you gave me, Bella Butterfly. Thank you so much. And Bella Butterfly is feeling a little bit better. Um, her family is feeling healing. Um, everybody out there that has a cold or COVID, please treat it like it's the flu. That's what everybody says. Drink lots of soup, lots of lemon water. You're forgetting about your lemon water. I know it. Um, and now you just reminded me, take my vitamins. Okay. I'm going to take my vitamins in front of you guys, even though it's embarrassing. I'm going to take my vitamins in front of you guys because I want you to see how many vitamins. I didn't take them yesterday and I had a weird day yesterday. Not a good day, but let me show you my vitamins. <laughs> and this isn't everything because the fiber jellies that I take, I have to take three of those and I'm supposed to take something else that that poor excuse for a gastro doctor um, told me. Um, but I don't want to take five pills because I'm already in full diarrhea, having diarrhea every day. Um, that's all I have, you know, but he says there's nothing wrong with me, right? So I have to just live like that anyway. Can you see this? Can you see this? So it's balance of nature. And the reason why I'm taking four fruits and vegetables and four, so that's eight, four green ones, um, vegetables, four fruits and four vegetables is because I skipped yesterday. So I tend to get sore throats that can go into a cold and I want to prevent that because I'm old and I'm not trying to rhyme guys I know the lipstick looks weird do I look like I got lip injections because I want that look okay without the injections all right you know how you make your cheeks um look like they they got cheek injections without the cheek injections and without paying um you eat a lot okay <laughs> you get fat and so when you're fat you have nice cheekbones all right you feel me? <laughs> it's a true, it's a true story. Okay. First, I'm taking the vitamin E in front of you guys. Wash it down with some soda. Okay. Yeah, I'm back on soda, guys. Once a day, or yeah, like one can a day. Um, these two are probiotics that have cranberry juice in them. They're really big horse pills, but that's supposed to help me prevent like the, those infections that I was getting. And I'll tell you, I am better that way. I think everything has a lot to do with stress, a lot to do with stress. So when I was working, I was really stressed out because I was being, having chairs thrown at me, things, items, pencils, scissors, saying, kids saying F you to me. I'm not going to do it. I'm not sitting down to take my test. F you. Um, anyhow, uh, that causes a lot of stress, right? And I try to hold it in because I'm trying to be a professional, I'm trying to let things flow, but it doesn't flow. It's not flowing because I'm extremely sensitive and I'm empath. So you put yourself into that situation. And then how about the room where the kids, all they do is scream totally just scream the whole entire time until you take them to lunch and they scream on the way to lunch and then they make you late um, because one kid falls off the line or punches another kid. Now you're late for the your lunch because you can't even get them to the lunchroom without somebody acting a fool. So all of that, I think really just made me have worse symptoms and I felt like a glass bottle. I mean, it'll come back. It's It's been going away for four days and then it comes back. Um, and when it comes back, I'm going to call the gynecologist and ask her to check me. But anyhow, I'm going back to her in October. So, so I'm taking these big horse pills now. takes me a long time to take my vitamins because I have a swallowing problem. <laughs> you didn't want to hear that, but it's true. I, I got tested for my throat, you know, 
swallow they made me swallow crackers and stuff and I saw myself as a skeleton okay I was like wow I lost weight <laughs> anyway um they were like oh yeah you can have it stretched but the thing is you're too young and most people have to have it done every five years and it's usually in older people that we see this and I'm like uh hell no I'm very against surgery Okay, I don't know if you met me, but I'm very against surgery. Biopsy, yes. Surgery, not unless it's, it's you know, a 99% chance that it's going to help you. One thing I did do the right way this week was I was listening to healing meditation music for urinary tract infections, any kind of vaginal problems, um, the sacral chakra affirmations, I was listening to that heavy duty as I was doing my work, as I was bo boxing up um, artwork, um, as I was getting ready, meditating for cases. Um, so I did do that finally. I finally did affirmations and I'll tell you, I feel so much better. One day, I just sat at the table, the dining room table, even though I had my schedule in front of me, you know, clean this up, do this, do that, do this case, do that. I just sat there and I stared at my, um, the peach butterflies. I have two peach butterfly canvases and then I created another canvas, um, Carmela, an angel of children that has all peach flowers around her. Silk flowers, I never d used those before. But um, I feel better. After I look at that, I meditate on it, I touch it, um, I stare at it, I stare at that color, and I feel better. I painted with the, the peach color, um, which always has the, the big effect on me. Okay, I, I still have eight to go. Oh my God. I do have a coffee in here too. Unfortunately, it got cold, but I'm still gonna drink it because I love that coffee. And it's only my first coffee because I pushed myself to get out the door. I said, I'm not gonna be here another day. Devin left in the morning. I helped him. I got his breakfast prepared. He has to take his needle his diabetic needle. He's, he wasn't feeling great. <sighs> I hope he does all right. Prayers up for Devin. <sighs> the coffee though, ugh. it tastes like it was old. So I gotta put in one more sugar because, Splendor, because um, it tastes like it's old. You know, old coffee, like old pot. I don't know that many people that drink hot coffee when it's like really, really hot. But I do. I really like this stick. Isn't that pretty, this color? It's a pleasant color. It's a crayon. It's mauve. Mauve. Like, remember mauve from the 80s? Okay. Another one. Now the coffee's better. Yeah. It needed another sugar. I'm sorry I'm just taking my pills in front of you, but look how long it takes me. And when I do this at home, like Devin's like, what are you doing at the kitchen table so long? He goes, well, you know, what's going on over there? I go, I'm taking my pills. Because Devin takes his pill. He has a lot of pills to take, too. He takes a handful, throws it down his throat, and takes a sip of water. I said, that's a good way to choke. Like, when I take these pills, I have to visualize it going down because I can feel it getting stuck here. And then it feels like, even though you swallowed it, it feels like it, the pill is still there for, like, the rest of the day. So that's why I have to be careful. If that ever happens to you, you take a little piece of bread, roll it up into a bowl and swallow it, and it'll push push the thing down, whatever whatever's in your throat. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I still have one, two, three, four left. I still have four left. But ironically, I'm feeling better. Like it, it does something to my energy level. I did take my um, level thyroxin because I do um, on um, thyroid medicine, very high amount because my Hachimoto is very bad and they can't control it. Nobody has been able to control it. Um, and that's that's another reason why I have the moon face. Because um, I legit don't eat that much. Okay, so what I had for breakfast and lunch was I got myself a Subway sandwich, which is healthy because it was lettuce, tomato, olives, provolone on it. And that's not bad. And a Diet Coke and my coffee that I'm still drinking. That's it. I did buy fries, but I didn't eat them. I'm going to save them for Connor. I didn't touch it. See? It's right here. I'll give it, I'll give it to him. And yesterday I made two casseroles of pasta with uh, all kinds of vegetables. One was sesame vegetables with uh, broccoli, potatoes, onions, peas and carrots and celery. And the other one was Kalmata olives with tomatoes and garlic and parsley. Really good. But I'm not cooking like that every night. No. Okay, two left guys. See how long it takes. If I do it any faster, and it's, it's not good for me to be talking in between, I have to literally visualize it going down my throat. They told me my thyroid was extra small. Okay. I don't know what that means, but... Uh. I'm wearing a bracelet from... Kim Magical. See the this one? It's jade and with the cross. And um, I think this one is from Devon. I'm not sure. And she right now is in Delphi. Okay. Um, but you won't see this until she's home. I think she's already on her way home. Her channel is called The Comeback. She's taking a lot of pictures, doing a lot of videos. She's been there so many times before, and um, she sent me something that was really scary. So please make sure that you watch her videos. They're not up yet, but she, trust and believe, she'll be putting them up soon, probably this week. We did it. We took pills. Okay. And maybe I should just keep you running. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? I do what I want. Right? We'll just keep you running. I did bring my other phone because this phone was not really souped up because I used it too much. I fell asleep with it because, you know, I'm up late. I, last night I wasn't doing videos. I did a couple of dances that were obnoxious, but um, I was watching the Murdoch. Um, the Murdoch trial is on Netflix, so I was watching that. But I might have to go back to it because I I was kind of falling asleep. Then I was watching Virginia River or Virgin River which is really good and I have to go back to that too because if I took my medicine and I was falling asleep so I don't remember my brain doesn't remember what was happening I just know I liked it and uh, yeah it's crazy they, they show a lot of things on the Murdoch trial he so did it I don't know why people would think he didn't do it he went there with two different guns big deal he shot his wife first, or shot his son first, and then his wife, right? 
Anyhow. I don't know why people want to live in denial. Anyhow. That's my opinion and I'm entitled to it. You don't have to have the same opinion. Okay. see if I could get out of this mess without crashing. See, now my lips feel like a little bit dry. They might look good, but they, they feel a little bit like they feel like not moist. So I guess that was a matte. That was a matte. When it's matte, it's the opposite of glossy, right? Um, so that's the, I mean, it stays on, but I, I don't know. I feel like I'll put, maybe I should put a, a gloss over it. I don't know why I'm talking like a millennial <laughs> or a valley girl. <laughs> yeah. So the best thing to do guys, when you feel a little bit down is think, did I get any exercise? So if you didn't, and I didn't, and I'm not judging anybody, because I didn't. I was literally home and did one thing. I did one thing. I mean, I did a lot of videos, but I did one thing, which was hang out with Devin. And what, the, what else did I do? Oh, we went to the chiropractor one day, but we went straight home. I think it was Friday. Now I forget where the park is. I'm <laughs> so stupid. Okay, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Everything's in like a circle, so. Oh, I was gonna look for houses um, for sale or apartments for sale because somebody else is thinking about moving here. So I will keep an eye out and actually get out of my car if I see a house for sale, because this is right near my house. These blocks are right near my house. And I have a dental office. This person is a dental uh, assistant. And she was like, are there any jobs for dental assistants? I was like, uh, right on my corner is a huge dental office. And plus all different places. There's a lot of dental places here. looking around for houses. Oh yeah, so if you feel a little down, say, did did I exercise today? If the answer is no, then get up and just walk back and forth in your house. Uh, lift up your leg uh, 40 times. Okay. <laughs> uh, it goes by fast. It goes by in less than a minute. You can lift up your legs, you know, 40 times. Like, do 40 leg lifts. That's just really 20 on each side. And then you do it again if you feel ambitious. But the main thing is just get up. If you can go outside, go outside in your yard. Walk back and forth in your yard. Stay out there for five minutes. Um, you will feel better. Uh, I just went outside and put the garbage out. And then I walked back and forth in my driveway. Not even like four minutes less than four minutes. But it helped me to say a prayer to God because I was uh, very upset about something. And which I'll probably tell you because, you know, I tell you everything. You're on the ride with me. On the ride, on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah, and make sure, did I take my vitamins today? And if the answer is no, that, those answers were all no for me. I, during the week, I was taking my vitamins, but I wasn't exercising. I wasn't taking walks. I mean, I walked back and forth. Um, in one of my videos, I walked back and forth, but it wasn't like a good, good old-fashioned walk. And why is there nobody here? Okay, usually there's nobody here if it's really hot. Because you'd be a psycho to be out in this heat and walking in it, but... I'm that kind of psycho because I have to punish myself for not walking all the other time, all the other days of the week. Now I see some kids 
I do straight up see some kids. I am gonna try to get under this tree so I'm in the total shade. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. I just went to see if what people were saying in the chat. Then I remembered this is a video. You psycho. <laughs> this is a video. Okay. I like doing videos. I feel less pressure. I feel less pressure. I've been getting some hate again. Hardly any views on anything I do, but I've been getting some hate. All right. That's not true. On the birthday live for that Forever Bella, all the stuff that Forever Bella gave me, um, that was like an hour, almost two hours, or maybe it was two hours long. That, a lot of people like that. Um, and only like eight people were watching. I did it really late. Um, and yeah, that's like 400 views. And I'm like, people really like unboxings that much? Oh, they like to see Umbella boxings because they know she always gives me so much stuff. Or well, they just like unboxings, I guess. Um, but anyhow, I have been getting some hate and I was like sad about it. Um, should I talk about what I wanted to talk about? Because I might do a quick short. All right, let me talk about it. Yeah, it's Sunday. I could do what I want. I do really like the mascara that you gave me, Bella Butterfly. It's pretty. Here it is. It's so pretty. Look. I think you gave me that eyeshadow too. Um, anyway, thank you so much. And thank you all, anybody who's watching. I sincerely appreciate it. I felt a little bad yesterday because I'm going to just tell you why. Because I, I, I always tell you guys, you know, what's going on. I probably might have even told you. Oh, okay, so I don't know why I did that, but I cut the neck off as usual. And this was a nice shirt that I could have wore to work, but now that I cut the neck off, it did it so jaggedly, I can't wear this to work. I just, I mean, I can. I could be a dirtbag and just do that, but no, I I won't wear it to work. Um, But I have to have this area open because I have a, a thing with choking. Um, probably a past life thing where I was choked. And that's probably why I have the problems with the thyroid and the problems with the swallowing. Because I straight up choked in my past life. Okay. <laughs> All right. My eyes look so clear. And I did have a couple of drinks last night. Just two. Just two? Yeah, I didn't even finish it. His Archangel Raphael is putting the kibosh on drinking for me, so... Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Um, anyhow, um, what I was upset about was um, when I had a bad week, I had a bad, you had a bad day, you take one on, you take one for the team. I forget that you move along. All right, I forget the words of that. You had a bad day. Na, 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 na. Tracy would know. Okay, it's like, I think it's a 90s song. Anyway. Um, when I had such a hard time that week that I worked four days in a row as like a instructional aide and then slash teacher of second grade, um, and every day got, got worse and worse. And like, I was trying to positive think and I was sharing everything with you guys. So then I just took it as maybe God's trying to tell me, all right, step away from the, the old subbing and finally know that you put in 35 years of your life as a teacher of some sort because literally since age 17 I've been actually 15 13 14 15 I started babysitting um doing everything to do with babysitting and um I took one of those pool courses that so that you could when you're a babysitter and they have a pool you could watch them in the pool and know how to do I don't really know how to do it though but um 
you know, you could do CPR on them, but I really don't know how to do it. I didn't really pay attention to that part. Um, and as a teacher, you learn that part, but I just still don't understand it. Hey, I'm not everybody is a nurse, okay? <laughs> um, but anyhow, so I figured maybe God is trying to tell me that I have to move on from subbing and just monetize your channel, okay? Uh, I was going to say a lot of words and because the ADD kicks in. But I want to say a lot of words. I just want to get to the point. All right. It's so hard for me, but I'm going to try. So if I look away, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, if I look at myself, <laughs> I distract myself. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Okay. So I, if I look away, it's because I'm trying to frigging get a thought out without, you know, um, rambling on for too long. So I really... I was upset and down at the bad week that I had because the week before I had a pretty good week, right? The week before my introduction into school was the day before my birthday, then the day of my birthday and the day after my birthday. And it was two different schools and I felt accomplished. I felt like, yeah, I still want to do this. I still want to be with these kids. And the kids give me hugs and the kids are like, you're back, you know, and they like they've seen an old friend like because people don't come back people legit in Texas I don't know how it is in New York but in Texas um besides like maybe two older women I've seen them before and like when I say older I could say that because I'm older but they are legit in their 70s to 80s. And they come back because they probably were a teacher. And a lot of teachers do not know what to do besides being a teacher. So if they were a teacher for 30, 40 years, they really don't know what to do with themselves. So they come back as a sub. All right. And that's okay. Subs are needed. But I this year, I, I was back for about six days, six and a half days. And I haven't seen them that crew um but anyhow um what I'm trying to say is people should value the subs because I've been subbing for eight years and like you think that you would get some sort of credit or acknowledgement nobody acknowledges because I have seen so many principals leave so the principals I started with they're they're all gone there's all different uh, principals, but there are a couple that are secretaries and um, assistant principals that I still see. And I, I have to remind them, do you know I've been coming here for eight years? <laughs> 2016. Um, and they were like, hmm, has it been that long? We haven't seen you though that much. And I say, yeah, because I'm working in other schools. I, I, I like to work closer to home, but I might have to get rid of that option because closer to home was where I had trouble, um, where there was no respect. But I'm still going to give that school a chance um, because it's my favorite school with the kids in it, the older kids. But that's, that's what's hard. You could get called for, say, a third grade class or a fourth grade class and I'm like oh I know them that's cool I know you know the whole schedule for the third graders they're very independent or fourth graders or even fifth graders I know them since they're in kindergarten but then you get there and then they change your schedule because they really need you in the second grade because nobody will show up for that job so that they put this this lady in there and I don't want to ever go back in that classroom again. And Devin said a good point. He said, but what about when those second graders that you had, it was a horror show, and they become third graders? I said, well, it's a different building that they come into. For some reason, almost magically, they get better. It's the building. It's like people need to sage over there. But you can't light anything over there. Um, I should bring my sage in a bottle, though that my friend Kath gave me. Um, anyhow, so long story short, I just figured, okay, maybe it's time for me to monetize and I'll still sub here and there, but I should monetize. I've been working for five years on my channel um, and you know, 
there's something going wrong where I'm not getting the views that I used to. It's like something is stuck. That's what I feel energetically. Like my stuff is not getting out there. So I figured it's probably because it's not monetized. Everybody and their uncle, everybody and their grandmother on YouTube is monetized even from like a thousand, you know, a thousand subs on. And I have like when you look at the when you look at the what is it called the algorithm um the analytics because i look at that right you look at it and it says oh 30,000 views 30,000 views why does it say i have 134 views if i got 30,000 views altogether for the month why is only one video one video saying 200 views one video says 134 views, but then the algorithm says, hey, you got 30,000 views. And it's up from last month. And I'm like, this is not balancing out. So like you could try to contact YouTube. I mean, I put an email in yesterday. I don't even think it went in. Um, so when I try to apply to monetize, and that could take you a month before they get back to you because they have to look over a human being. They keep on saying, a human being has to look over your stuff. Well, I, I hope it's a human being. I hope it's not AI, <laughs> right? I would like a human being. Anyway, um, so I went to, I read through all the stuff that they make you read through. I asked Ruby about it because she's, um, She's monetized sometimes, but not all the time. She said that you always have to push the button on it. And I don't even know what button to push, but I saw the earn button. So I just pushed that and I was reading all the stuff that it said. So then I figured maybe it's not going through because I pushed the earn button and I'm not monetized yet. I'm not even get, getting able to put the application in. So let me unpush that button. And then uh, I was asking Devin to help me because I worked on this for five, five hours. I was in bed looking at it. I got out of bed. I made a cup of coffee. I made um, my breakfast or lunch. And I sat at the table. I was looking at it. I went to the couch. I'm looking at it. I went to the dining room. I'm looking at it. Then I saw it. Uh, be getting upset and asked Devin. Devin's like, "Hun, I really don't know this. I, I, I wish I could help you. I'll try to look at it." And I'm like, "You have two master's degrees. I have one master's degree. We should be able to figure this out, right?" I started getting angry because that's how I felt. I felt like all these other people could figure it out. Why can't we figure it out? You know, with the master's degrees. And he was like, oh, it probably doesn't work that way. It kept saying that I needed an alternate Gmail account just in case I got locked out, right? I needed alternate Gmail. So then I remember my old AOL account. So I put that in and they said, no, that's not good. We're not recognizing that. So the whole thing is, I just felt like I didn't have success at work. I didn't at, at school. I didn't have success trying to monetize. I'm not getting the views. I'm doing all this work. And then I went and I said a, a week ago or so that uh, since nobody asked for a reading, a paid reading, which is $60, um, or the 1010 readings, um, nobody asked for that the last two, two times I said, you know, the, those were up. Um, I figured, you know, I felt like that was a slap in my face. And so I was like, oh, then I'm just not going to do it anymore. Then that's just not available. Then nobody said anything. And then I felt even worse. I felt like, am I an asshole? Am I a fucking asshole? <laughs> I just felt like that. I just was like... What is wrong with what I am doing? Can I work any harder? And yeah, my friends go, don't work harder. You got to work smarter, right? Because I, I talked to my friend, Leisha. I talked to my friend, um, Bayo, Eileen, um, Tammy, uh, 
a little bit to Ruby, but I think she was busy. I am um, no, I did tell her. I think I did tell her, to, uh, Tracy. Uh, like I, I told a lot of people, and they were like, you know, do this suggestion, that suggestion. But when I went outside, why did that guy just throw his hat? He just literally took his hat off and threw it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, maybe there was a bug on it. Um. I don't know. I just feel like. Why isn't anything working out? I feel like I'm working hard and you're like, and even with my art, then it came to me. Well, have you done any art videos? No, I haven't. Like really since the butterfly ones? Yeah, I'm taking pictures of them, putting them on YouTube, taking pictures of them, putting them on uh, Facebook, which has done nothing. Okay, it might look fun, you know, and I might get a lot of views when I'm doing my dances, but it doesn't do anything to, it's not doing anything to my algorithm or to give me points or anything. Like people aren't saying, hey, I like the way you dance, so I am going to send you a PayPal donation. Or I like the way you, you read that case for like so many hours, so I'm gonna give you a donation. Um, or super chat or whatever. Um, and I just felt like, I feel like an idiot. I feel like, what am I doing wrong? And why am I working so hard if it's not being noticed? And then Devin says, you know, of course it's being noticed. And um, my friend Kim Magical says, you know, we do things out of our heart. And we don't do it for the dollar, the old made mighty dollar, right? And I understand that too. I've done this for five years for free. And so that's why I was trying to say, you know, even if I just get $20 a month from YouTube, that's $20 more than I got, you know, for five years of work, over 3,000 videos. So what I'm trying to say is I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong to take off my videos, my um, the paid readings, and I'll I'll tell you why. I got, I did get an email from somebody, right? I'm not gonna say who they are, and they said, you know, I really Katrina, I had been wanting to call you when I got a chance, when I had the money, um, because I wanted to buy a reading. But then I see that you took down your readings. You're not doing paid readings anymore. And it made me a little sad. I don't know if they said, do you know somebody that I could get a reading from? Buy a reading from? And I was like, uh, you could buy that reading from me. And she was like, but I thought you're not doing it anymore. And I said, well, I was probably wrong. Okay. And part of being an adult or... A human being is to error but also to fix your mistakes so I think I was wrong I think I did it I did that out of feeling like oh no one's paying attention to me so nobody wants a reading for eight months or six months so I'm not gonna do any readings anymore and thinking everybody was gonna like flood me with like oh please don't do that oh I really wanted to get a reading oh I was just about to call you for a reading um, oh, here's the money. I was just about to send it to PayPal or to your post office box. And when that didn't happen, I was like burnt. So I can admit that that's my mistake. I, Cause I asked Evan about it. I always talked to him about it. I said, do you think I was wrong? Cause at first he was like, well, you always feel like you, you didn't do the right thing or you did too many videos for one person's reading or you did too much and then you burnt out for a week. You blow yourself out, you blow your third eye out. And he was like, so maybe it's good. And then he goes, oh, but you should have kept the 1010. And I was like, no one was asking for the 1010 either. <laughs> he goes, well, just do what you want. Do whatever makes you happy. Because he wants me to be happy. But he doesn't see me being happy. And I don't see me being happy either. Um, so here's my goals. Of course I want to sell my artwork. I'm going to be doing more videos. Even short videos. I know I always aim to do it. And then I don't do it. And it's not because I'm lazy. I am very ambitious. And I'm always thinking of what video I'm putting out. Uh, a card read, um, pick a card, um, 
all takes preparation. It really does. It takes time. And then when I have people talking to me in the house, it, it, it totally throws me off. Um, so that's why I like being out in the car. I like being out, you know, outside by the pool room, but it's, it's too hot still. So I am taking off what I said originally. I am putting back up readings because this person said to me, oh, what, you're going to do it still? Because I was just about to to tell you, but then I saw your video where you said you, you stopped all paid readings. And I was like, I could do it. Oh, you want me to give you a reading? And she, she was like, yes, please. And so now it's back up. Okay. I have that paid reading that that's going to come up. Um, I always have to meditate. I don't like to do it on Sunday. Um, but I will be alone in the house. It's just that, yeah, I, maybe I'll get it done tonight. I don't know. Um, but it'll get done this week. Definitely. And, um, so I wanted to tell you guys, I was wrong. I want to put back the videos for paid readings. Okay. Um, if you would like it, even a 1010. Now, how does 1010 work? What I wanted to happen was I have two phones. I have another phone here. Hey, where's my phone? Where's my other phone? Here it is. Right? So if I'm on that phone, you could call me on this phone and actually call in your question. But if you don't want to do it that way and you want to be private, you could just uh, type your question to me in an email. Or if you have my number, you could type it to me. Okay. Um, and so 1010 was, you have to put the payment in, um, either PayPal or post office box. And I trust people to put it in the post office box if you don't have PayPal. Okay. But I, like a lot of people said to me, oh, you should get PayPal or Venmo. And then a lot of people would, you know, give you donations or whatever, or pay, find it easier to pay you for a quick reading. And I said, I've had PayPal for probably two years or more or three years. Okay. So don't even, all right. Um, but you know what? People don't know that I have PayPal. Uh, I don't know how to put it on the screen, but I have PayPal and I have a post office box for people who are retro people. And I pay for that post office box every six months it goes up it, like it started out as $58 for six months and it went up literally um now it's $88 and probably when I go to pay I have to pay by September 30th um for another six months um it'll probably be up in like 20 bucks so it'll probably be like 100 something. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I want you to utilize my post office box. I want you to utilize, like with, if you want a reading, but you don't, you don't know how to get it to me through PayPal, you can mail me a check. You can mail me money. People used to mail me money for my artwork because they were like, you know what? I don't have a checkbook. Okay, but I'm going to mail you cash. And I said, if you mail me cash, make sure you put it inside a card or two pieces of paper so that nobody could see that you're mailing cash but you could do that it's not good because you know people could get at it um or you could do a money order whatever all right but the 1010 was symbolic for my mother's birthday right her birthday is on october 10th right and she used to always say 1010 and there was a radio station called it still is called 1010 wins um news news station anyhow it it was close to my heart and when I shut that down because nobody wanted it I thought nobody wanted it but then I hear a couple of people saying oh no that was good and like even Devin was like oh you should definitely bring that back and I was like Devin I thought you knew nobody I I, I said I was going to do it on a Saturday so I was waiting for people to put things in PayPal and put the question in to my email or my phone, because a lot of people have my number, texted to me, 
and nobody did. And then some, I think Bella Butterfly told me, oh, I wanted to do that, but I forgot that you were doing it on Saturday because she works on Saturday. So maybe that was the wrong day for a lot of people. Maybe I would be better off doing something like that on a Wednesday or something like that on a um, Friday night. I don't know. Um, but like I was wrong to take off the readings because like this person that that um, emailed me and said oh, I was just getting ready to do it and I really wanted to do it I wanted to do it for a long time but I didn't have the money but now I was getting the money and then I saw that video where you said everything you're not doing any of that you're just selling your artwork and doing regular videos that you do for free <laughs> doesn't make sense I don't make sense Okay, make it make it make sense. All right, it never does in this noggin. But I realized I went out of anger and I went out of ego. Okay, because I am human. Uh, I have feelings that get hurt and I realized that was the wrong thing to do. I made a mistake, so please namaste. I apologize, please forgive me. Um, I'm putting back readings for 60 and readings, um, it's like 10 minutes, $10 and 10 cents. Um, just like one or two questions, like whatever you get answered in 10 minutes. And um, some of my friends like Tammy was saying, do it as a live because a lot of people like to do lives. And then maybe as they're watching, they'll be like, oh, I wanna do that. So then, they'll see your PayPal there and they'll put the $10 and 10 cents in the PayPal and you could read for them. Um, that's how I originally wanted to do it because I watched Rich Lop do it and I basically understood how to even have a YouTube channel based on Rich Lop because he actually said, you push this button, you put a title in, you put a description in and you, you know, you have to have your name, um, you have to go to the regular computer and put your banner up, um, which is your YouTube name. Um, and I did his instructions and I didn't think I was going to be able to do it because I'm lame and I'm a retro girl in a techno world. Um, but I was able to do it. So that's why I, I took the idea from him. He does 2022, 2222 because he likes those numbers. Um, so what he does is like one question for $22.22 and he does like 60 people <laughs> it takes him like hours but he really just spends like four minutes on each person and he makes bank I'm not in it to make bank I'm in it to, I, I can't do that many people because that would blow me out for you know like I would be useless um because when I try to concentrate, I open up the third eye and I try to concentrate and I try to give you the best reading. Um, even the 10 minute readings, they, they tire me out because I try my best. Anyhow, so <laughs> this is a long story and it's an hour long, it's way too long. So what I wanna say is I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing the 10-10 let me know if you're interested in the comments. I'm doing the $60 readings. Um, they are videos. If you don't want your name used, we can always figure out a nickname for you. I've done that a million times. People don't know who I'm talking to. Um, but you know, if you're interested in that, uh, that's fine. That's great. Um, and of course my artwork okay and I promise you maybe even tonight I'm going to do a couple little videos that show my new artwork I'm not really gonna talk that much about it because I basically want you to know the title of it a little bit about the chakra that it helps um, and uh, the price because I believe in giving the prices you know what it saves you time. Who has the time to this email, that email, this, you know, text, that text. You'll know the title and the price and you could email me and say, hey, I want this one. Do you still have it? Um, and then you already know the price. Um, okay. Anyway.
guys, I'm going to go for that said walk, but I'm going to switch over to my other phone and I'm going to go live. All right. But you won't see this video till later. All right. Love you guys. Namaste. And I'm sorry for taking away those readings, um, but I'm putting them back up again <laughs> in case anybody's interested. And if they're not, I'm not going to panic because that's what Tammy told me. She goes, don't panic if nobody right away says, hey, I want a reading and I want a reading and I want artwork and I want a 1010 and I want this and I want that. And then they don't put the money up. She goes, don't worry about that. I go, why? She goes, because things take time. And just know that God has your back. And I do know that. And um, and maybe I'll still monetize. Maybe somehow, miraculously, God will say, okay, I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to lift this barrier up. I'm going to lift that barrier up. I'm going to take away this branch tree that's in your way, this log that's in your way. And I'm going to make it smooth sailing for Katrina Brady um, so that the Mystic Brady Bunch could go viral. So the Mystic Brady Bunch could reach all the continents of the world. And um, like I used to. Now, I look at the analytics and I don't see Australia anymore. I see the UK a little tiny bit. But I used to see Ireland and Australia, definitely the Netherlands, definitely. I'm not reaching them anymore. Why? Why? I'm not putting music. I'm not putting music up um, that, it, you know, when I do the shorts, I use the music from YouTube. Um, when I have the meditation music, that's usually Jason Stevenson. And I asked him for permission. Um, one time I used for Bella Butterfly's birthday, I think I used a different music and they put a copyright claim on, but then I was going to take it down and they said the worst thing to do is to take the video down because the person who, whose music you copyrighted, they are making money off of it. Even if you're not m making money, they're going to make money off of it. I was like, I don't get this. I'm getting like confused with YouTube. I, it's so, it's scary sometimes. Um, because you don't want to do the wrong thing and you know and then I also want to be a rebel and I'm I want to do whatever if I want to do <laughs> you know me but um anyhow who knows maybe God will will open that gate and make it so that it's easy for me and that's the only way I want it to be not that I'm a princess but I did the same thing with the subbing because every year it's been a major hassle, like climbing a mountain of paperwork. Uh, Devin, if I didn't have Devin, I probably wouldn't, I'd probably be just sitting in the house, not ever going to work because I wouldn't be able to do all this paperwork. He does it on the computer, right? I do things from my phone. If I could do it from my phone, then I'm all right, right? Um, anyhow, I said to God, if you want me to be a sub, then you will take away this craziness that happens every year when I go to that meeting um that's like four hours long that's a substitute meeting it'll be easy it'll be easy for me right it'll be I won't be like confused and it'll kind of be interesting like it used to be back a few years back it was interesting I guess you know I've been around for so long it's just like it went by fast um because I still feel in my head, I still feel like I'm the 22 year old that that um, have has just been teaching for a year. That in my head, that's where I am at. And then I realized, and I, I see the scale, and I see the mirror, and I realize, oh, you are not 22 anymore. But emotionally, I might not be physically, but emotionally, I'm still that. 22 year old that wanted that magic that happens in the classroom when you get through to somebody and they're like oh I never thought of it that way thank you teacher um and it's such or the there's a magic flow when you're doing a lesson and you're standing in front of the room or you sit back down after you sent them back to do their work and it there's a nice lull and quiet and um then somebody asks you a question, you go over and help them. And then maybe you have to go back up to the board and do another demonstration. And it's just like, to me, that's like love. That's 
that's happiness. Um, I know how to do that. I know how to reach them that way. But just lately, it's been like the kids don't know how to listen anymore. And they don't concentrate because they don't have any books. They are on one of these. They are on iPads. And the schools put them on iPads. All their work is on iPads. It's very rare that they're opening a book to find a page. Um, so it's sad. It's like, it's really bad for the brain. Um, to They should be coloring and using pencils and pens and crayons and paints um, because there's a connection from the hand to the brain. Um, and that's color therapy. Uh, and they're not doing any of that. They're seeing colors on the iPad, but they're not doing anything to connect their body and them, themselves. Um, anyhow, and they're going to sleep with the iPad or the TV, you know, and I, I'm guilty of that too, but I didn't do that as a kid. No, no, that was not allowed. Anyhow, um, so I, I love you guys. I don't know. I was on a tangent about something else. Who knows what it was, but I'm going to get off now and I will see you um, on the other side of make-believe land. <laughs> I never say that, but you know what? I could say something different. I don't have to just say namaste. I could say, I'll see you on the other side of make-believe land. You know where that is? It's a little place between earth and heaven. Namaste.